Hey folks, how are we all doing today? Just doing a update on my hydroponics and what's going on. Now, we had 40 degree heat and on the same day storms and rain and all sorts of stuff come through. And I've developed a bit of up on my cucumbers but I'll start off with my capsicum which is going quite well getting more flowers on so we have more flowers and here capsicums are going well one there One there, another one down the bottom there. So it seems to be going all right. Yeah, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. It's growing and looking good, healthy. But for the cucumbers, we have mildew on the leaves, which is not good. Not much you can do about it when you get weather like that. It's just really bad weather. It gets mildew everywhere. And as you know from the last videos, I've got five kilos of cucumbers off these three plants. There's some more starting to come along. And get there. Hope you can see that. More flowers coming up the top. Uh, hopefully it kicks back in, grows a little bit more, which I think it should, but we'll see. As you can see on the leaves, a lot of mildew from it. I'm not sure how to fix it. You can fix it. But, you know, lettuces, well, some of them copped a hammering. Like that one there. Just 40 degree heat and rain on the same day. Really, they really don't like it. That one there copped the majority. Not looking too good. But the other three are doing alright. So we'll see if these two kick back, which I doubt it, but we'll see. I'll leave them in and we'll see what happens. As for the tomatoes, they're going pretty well. Starting to ripen up now. Nice ripe ones down there. More ripe ones over there. So we're not doing too bad. The big gross Lisa ones. So you're starting to ripen up. Now this is just static. The hydroponic water in the bucket and nothing else. Just letting it grow. Cracky method. So, uh, doing too bad. And I'm going to top the water up in these for the first time. So be tomorrow I'm going to top the water up in them. Not going too bad, apart from the cucumbers, but you know, the top leaves don't look too bad. Been pretty good. So, uh, I'll give you another shot of the tomatoes, and then I'll take and show you the ones in the ground. growing well. Okay, I'll go show you the ones. And there's the ones in the ground, as you can see. There's a few ripening up on them, but... Yeah, not real crazy. 
much harder, are they, compared to the other ones? It just proves a point. It is easier, less gardening, more efficient to grow in pots. I'll take you over and show you the other vegetables I've got in. Okay, asparagus. Not doing too bad. It's its first year, so these are its first ever shoots coming out, so they're not doing too bad. They say about two years to three years before you can get a good crop, so... I'll have to wait and see, I guess. And then we have our parsley, not going too bad, got hit a bit by the weather. And our raspberry bush needs to be transferred in its final pot. Okay, yeah, not going too bad. Take a wander over and have a look at the Buds I parted. Uh, just a blue 44. Sort of cut down a bit. Holes drilled on the bottom. With vegetable potting mix in it. Now I just seen this morning. Yep, there we go. And if you can see that. Just see this potato just starting to come out now. So they're just starting to come up. Now these potatoes are seed potatoes, four of white potatoes. Gonna see how they go in there. So they're starting to come up, so not doing too bad. Other tomatoes, a few getting ripe on there. They're starting to come along. Lots of tomatoes on there, that's for sure. Lots and lots and lots of tomatoes. This one's got a few on there, a couple down there, a few there, you see. Nice tomatoes. They're coming along. Not a bad wish, that one. Another one there, but that hasn't got much on it. And then we come to our corn. Now, I think I planted this corn way, way too late. It's not gonna getting anywhere. Might get some baby corn out of it, but who knows. But yeah, it's just too late. So that's another day on the backyard farm of a renter. Oh, wonder, wondering why I've got these bottles is I fill it up with town water, let them sit, get rid of the chlorine so I can use it, my hydroponics. That's why I've got them. That, that's another episode of what's happening. I'm coming up for Christmas soon so I might have to do a little bit more, make something or do something on making a hydroponic system or something different to get right into it. So I'll leave it at that today folks. So have a nice day and we'll catch you next video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like and we'll catch you later.